Do you think that you can be very, very good at more than two specializations in cybersecurity? I think it would be tough. Um, just taking my background in penetration testing, we have so many different fields within penetration testing that you could specialize in itself. I would not be able to specialize in all the fields, you know, in 20 years. I might be good at one or two, maybe three, just within our own little niche. Uh, so to be able to take that and say, yeah, I'm going to be good in cybersecurity or good at penetration testing, then I'm going to move on to the defense side and I'm going to be really good there. Uh, I don't think you'll be an expert at either. Like, I think it takes a long time to really become an expert. And there's so much depth to everything that you do in any field in cybersecurity that it's really hard to do manage more than two, I would say. And you always have to keep on learning because the field is progressing. So it's not yeah. like uh, something static. It's always yeah. dynamic, always expanding. So uh, your expertise has to be built upon in time and you don't actually never get to know everything, of course, right. which is probably the beauty of it because that uh, actually keeps you excited and motivated and keeps you going. Yeah, you're, uh, you're always learning something. And even today or within the last day or two, that Citrix Netscaler vulnerability just dropped and you see all these threads going around. Even on Reddit has one where it's like, oh crap, we've got we've to defend against this. Not just like, here's the attack and what's going around, but like, what are the defenses? Here's how we can baseline against this. And this just came up in two days and people are already like, rushing to learn how to attack and how to defend against that. Uh, so you're always on top of things and you're always learning some new trick or technique. And there is, in my opinion, no way to learn any, everything in this field. Like you always have an ability to learn something new every day. I would have to add to that the fact that um, this feeds upon the curious nature of the hacker. Yes. So you feel that you're actually resonating completely with uh, this uh, job of ours when you actually have to learn and have to always like stay up to date with everything that happens it's i don't know it's exciting at least for me it's it's really exciting if you're not the person who likes to learn you're going to fall behind very quick in this field there's no way that if you're not that i think it, it's the personality type it's that mindset where you have to be that constant learner and you love it or else it's just gonna it's gonna leave you behind. And there's a lot of people that want to break into the field and they think it's sexy and you know it's just cool. You you get to be the hacker that you see on TV. And yeah. while you do have some moments of that, it's really a lot of studying and staying on top. And I think that's why there's such a big washout rate right, from the people that say I want to be it to the people that actually become it. And it's yeah, it's that study that study habit that really uh, changes it for everybody. Fellas, check out my Python Basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description.